It's a great day for keto. My name is Liftar, and I'm bringing you today's keto tip. Welcome. Today's keto by the top five non-keto restaurants. There are an amazing number of restaurants where you can at least find some keto, some low-carb foods on the menu. Then there are some non-keto restaurants that have literally nothing you can eat. Well, maybe the water or a couple of them have a little bit of rabbit food, but really nothing we would call keto. So these are the ones you just don't even bother to go there. If you go there, you might get snookered into eating something that looks okay, but really isn't. First one on the list, Popeye's Chicken. Popeye's Chicken was not named after the cartoon character Popeye the Sailor. It was named after the main character in the movie The French Connection, and that guy was named after the cartoon character. Anyway, you may have heard about this big hullabaloo after they released their chicken sandwich to compete with Chick-fil-A. There were people bootlegging them, and then there were people supposedly fighting over the sandwiches. And that's probably because of the sugar in them. We can tell you it wasn't people fighting over the Popeye's chicken keto menu because there's none. Not even the sides. Don't even bother to go there. Number two on our list, Boston Market Keto. Boston Market and Keto don't really go well together. While you can make a salad out of lettuce, tomato, onion, and there is avocado, and then they have the Parmesan cheese you can sprinkle on it. That's about all you can get there, and vegetables don't end up being low-carb if you eat a lot of them anyway. So technically, there's a tiny sliver of food you can eat there, but hardly worth making a trip. And there's so many other restaurants where there's at least one main protein you can have there. Number three on the list, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A keto is like Bigfoot. People think they have seen it there, but we know better. Even the meats are marinated or otherwise tainted with sugar in the sauces. This is another place where you can get a salad with a hard-boiled egg and some Monterey Jack cheese. If you just ended up there and your life depended on it, there is something to eat, but really not a keto meal per se. Number four, Church's Chicken. Church's Chicken is a complete, utter no-go. All the chicken and fish is fried in batter. Even the sides, the coleslaw has a heavy amount of sugar. If you're about to break your diet and want to go insane, yeah, you can go there. But there's literally nothing to eat there. And then Friendly's Restaurant is number five on our list. And I make the obvious joke, Friendly's is completely keto unfriendly. Now there's one thing on the menu that actually doesn't have sugar, and that's the grilled chicken. But it includes a bunch of unhealthy artificial ingredients. And a bunch of artificial ingredients is usually the hallmark of somebody trying to make something last a long time without going bad. It's not fresh. We call them frankenfoods. Their non-keto hamburger meat, as well as the turkey burger, have sugar in them. They do have lettuce, tomato, onion, and avocado. Again, if you're traveling with your rabbit and he needs something to eat, there is that teeny little sliver of edible food. But if you're going and actually want to have a keto meal, this is not the place. There are actually a whole bunch of restaurants out there where you can do quite well. Even a burger place where you can eat the burger patty. These places don't even fit that bill. There's literally nothing there. And that's today's Keto Bite. If you enjoy these bite-sized tips, then come on over to rockthatketo.com and sign up for fabulous recipes, how-to tips, and inspirational stories of people who have lost weight or gotten healthy for the first time in their life. If you're ready to dive in and start losing serious weight, we have a foolproof 30-day plan all laid out for you. You can start losing weight today. Come on and check us out at rockthatketo.com. 
and we'll see you next time. 